One, two, three, four. <coughs> One, two. Transference to the pure realm of space of purified faculties is directed like this. Ah, how sad it is that I still remain in this muddy swamp of samsara even now, after such a long time of countless ages without beginning or end, and while so many others have already become Buddhas, I have not been liberated. From this moment on, I feel sickened at this samsara. I dread it. I am worn out with it. Now it is time to get ready to escape. So I must bring about a spontaneous birth in a lotus flower at the feet of the Buddha Amitabha in the western blissful realm. With this thought, concentrate intensely on the blissful realm in the west. It is vital to make this effort. Or else, if you direct intense concentration, one-pointedly and without distraction, toward whichever realm you wish, the pure realm, or complete joy, or the densely filled, or the realm of willow leaves, or the palm tree mountain, or the palace of lotus light in Urgyan, you will immediately be born in that realm. Or if you wish to go into the presence of Lord Maitreya, in the joyful realm, concentrate on this thought. At this moment in the bardo state, the time has come for me to go into the presence of the Dharma king Maitreya in the joyful realm, so I will go. And you will be born spontaneously in the heart of a lotus in the presence of Maitreya. Meditate on the thought that when the light appears, it is the Lord of great compassion. This is the most profound essential point. It is extremely important and prevents birth. Meditate for a long time on whichever deity is your yidam, as a vision without any real nature of its own, like an illusion. This is called the pure illusory body. Then let the yidam disappear from the edges inwards and rest for a while in the inconceivable state of emptiness luminosity which consists in nothing whatever. Meditate again on the Yidam, then again on the luminosity. Meditate like this alternately, and after that let your mind too disappear from the edges inwards. Wherever there is space, there is mind, and wherever there is mind, there is the Dharmakaya. Rest in the state of simplicity and selflessness of the Dharmakaya. All Buddhas and all ordinary beings are nothing but the one mind. This mind is beginningless and endless, unborn and indestructible. It has no color or shape, neither exists nor doesn't exist, isn't old or new, 
long or short, large or small, since it transcends all measures, limits, names, and comparisons. It is what you see in front of you. Start to think about it, and immediately you are mistaken. It is like the boundless void, which can't be fathomed or measured. The one mind is the Buddha, and there is no distinction between Buddha and ordinary beings, except that ordinary beings are attached to forms, and thus seek for Buddhahood outside themselves. By this very seeking, they lose it, since they are using Buddha to seek for Buddha, using mind to seek for mind. <laughs>